there's this thin film of frost on top of the snow on a lake and the sun hits it with its red and orange. It's like millions of little fireflies landed on the lake and they're all twinkly. That sight, that feeling of that refreshing sense of peace. Nanapachuk's a fishing community, roughly about 30 miles west of Bethel. We have a bunch of lakes surrounding the village and a network of rivers that basically kind of connect with one another. Every now and then we would get a call, so-and-so's hurt, and we need to go over there and help get the patient from their home to the clinic. And then when the medics come in, we'll go out to the airport, which is a boat ride or a snow machine right away. So the whole process from start to finish ranges from a couple of hours to maybe eight hours, depending on weather. Medical care is a huge, huge challenge for remote Alaska. A lot of Alaska is off the road system, and so then you're flying in by plane or you're boating in or you're snow machining in. But New Napchik is actually cut in half by a river. They have an airport on one side and they have a school and residences on the other. The Alaska Community Foundation is a organization where we convene resources to help the state in a number of things, natural disasters, capacity building, as well as social justice, to name a few. I think it's a pretty unique challenge that no one's really tackled before, and that it was for capital, and specifically for medical capital. Primera saw their opportunity and asked, what if? When I first learned about the grant, I pitched my idea first, and then they said that it would be a you know, good opportunity for us, so we applied for it. I, I actually called up my buddy and told him about it. I applied for a grant, and. I named it Highway to Health, and he said, did you, did you uh, name it after that song? I said, sure did. <laughs> Highway to Health, <laughs> uh, which was really clever because, you know, we're talking about being off the road system, but also still having to face those challenges, essentially providing the transportation to get their people to the medical services that they need. The barge company called one day and said, there's a Connex over here with your name on it a boat and motor and the snow machine for the police department, a snow machine and the side-by-side -side for the clinic. Having the side-by-side -side for the patients makes it so much easier. We can just put them in the back and bring them down to the boat, straight to the airport. It's been a big help to us because, you know, these uh, ATVs we have here before we got the side-by-side. -side. We couldn't even. Yeah, we couldn't even turn. We were able to connect with dozens of villages and nonprofits across the state. Premier saw that opportunity to get engaged and be able to really fill that need that no one else could at the time. If you go out and help people every now and then, and then everybody else will come and help you as well. I've seen people go out in negative 30, 40, 50 degrees in a blizzard looking for someone who they've never met in their life before. And then the very next morning, they'll go out and do it all over again. It's that old adage, be kind and people will love you. And that's why people help each other. <laughs>